Panda palette for 2017. I of course will be jumping on this and trying to see if I could pan a palette or two at the end of 2017. So if you like to hear how I did last year and see the palettes that I will choose for this year, please continue watching. For 2016, it wasn't all that great for me because I did not really wear a lot of makeup coming down to the end of the year when I had a well throughout my pregnancy. It was a little tough to uh, um just, I don't know, I was just not in the mood to put on makeup and then I had baby, you know, it was difficult and all that to say get dressed up, I wasn't going anywhere and stuff like that. And so I did not really do as great as I wanted. I was hoping to pan three, four palettes. Um, the Urban Decay, I still have left from that palette uh, items or eyeshadows. I finished only three. This was actually even from... I wanted to finish it out at least this color but that didn't happen I will be trying to use at least these two bold colors and this gold whenever I um, can to finish it up the gold that I'm wearing is actually a pigment that's in my project 10 pan for February so that's why that's there so it wasn't that gold and then I was trying to finish it, it cosmetics naturally pretty I was able to finish only uh, four eyeshadows and I am not going to really use this palette much for this year because the other palette that I chose for this year has some mattes but when those are finished I will definitely start pulling from here and this will be that palette I'll, you know, I will use as a go to after my palette finish. I did finish a comfort zone last year. So the palette I chose was the Urban Decay Naked Widest because it's an all classic. Um, palettes as one of the palettes I've had the longest. I have a dupe to it and everything. Plus, there's so many other companies that have duped this particular palette, and it's just all over out there. Everybody has their version of the naked palette with the colors. So this is what this looks like. I have been using it um, for the month of February, January. I really was more or less trying to figure out what palette use. Couple of different palettes, so thinking I would use it, and eventually I decided to go with this one and I decided to have goals for each month hoping I can finish it I do have another palette which is a face palette that I will work on but this is the eyeshadow palette so that's when I so when I told you guys I had mattes there one two yeah there's just two mattes here which are like skin tone color so I will be using these out and then if it's anything go to that naturally pretty palette and keep working to see if I can finish it um, virgin is the color that I can use for brow bone. I can also use sin for brow bone and lid. I do use virgin for lid, but the naturally pretty palette also has a color here that I can use, which is the transforming pearl for brow. So, um, like brow bone highlights or face highlights. So, I plan to do that. And then in the other palette, which is the face palette, I'm using the makeup revolution. Ultra Contour Palette. This is what it looks like. I'm already working on that color. I have highlights and colors here, so I can actually use those for brow bone also and for face. So I will be doubling up um, on this. Now, I don't think I'll be able to finish with three highlights and colors, which are these, but I am working on the under eye setting colors, powders, and I already have the, a dip on this contour, and I will try to use all these to warm up my face. And they're pretty nice, like that. They're smooth and silky to texture. The highlighting color, this one in particular, is very chunky, and that's what it looks like. Um, I'll swatch the other color there. So that one is more subtle, and it's these are pretty nice in itself. I like them, and the colors that I'm working with the naked palette, I want to like hit pan on. Virgin, which is a gorgeous color. I did wear it yesterday on my lid. I loved how it looked. And I want to hit pan on naked, which is very much like my skin tone. That's it there. And I want to hit pan on dark horse, which is that crease color. It's so pigmented. Like I actually have it very light in my crease here because I didn't want too much of a smoky eye. And so if I can hit pan on these three colors, I mean, not even major pan, just like a little pan on it. By the end of February, I would be happy, but I don't 
think I may. I have a good dent in virgin already. No dent in naked because it's of course packed really well. <laughs> and of course I have a little something there. But if not, I will work on these colors for um, for March and maybe add another color to it. As you can see, Naked is my skin tone. So that's why you can't see, but gorgeous. I um, love the pigmentation on this palette. I don't want it to go bad on me, hence why I'm going to um, make an effort to work on it. So that uh, those are the two palettes, mainly for my panel palette. Um, for 2017, I will try to see how I every week I can try to incorporate some other colors from my collection so I can use it up. But those are items that I have a reason for this. Yes, Panel Palette. I've tried watching a number of videos and I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see everyone's progress. I will do my progress either the beginning, I think beginning of March. I will share with you um, my progress so far and I will also... Um, let you know what my goals are so you get your updates at the beginning every month thank you guys so much for your time and watching until my next video